I'm aware that you villain is killing these niggas with fear, you the scarecrow. Ride or die, and she tied as my alibi, air though. You the type that I had me not rapping for pleasure to rinse and repeat, I don't care though. I'm after the guap, so I'm on a money mission on the block. She shotgun, top five, dead or alive. She ain't four legends, I said I'm the top one. She a drape gun, true, and she know it. My story don't hold up, I know she gon' drop some. That's my BM, and these bullets cold, but if you feel what hurting, you catching the hot one. She got her own thing, and she do some. When I'm in the store, I know she working too. Getting the loot, and the things that we do, she ain't telling us soda. She cute, she with me in the gym. You can pass me the balls off the rack. Pat a nigga back if you win the shack. Pat a nigga finna switch, yeah, I needed that. Look. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm doing another wig tutorial. Uh, my mom asked me to do another one for her. Uh, she wanted it to be very detailed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for her. I do have a few of these videos scattered somewhere on my channel, but um, I'll do another one. My mom said more updated, I mean more detailed. So mom, this is for you. I hope this video <laughs> helps you y'all, help you mom. And so, yeah, let's get into this yeah, video. So I have a bundle here. This bundle is washed. A bundle here. I have two bundles. I do have extra hair. I have this five by five closure. Uh, this is this hair is from the wig that's in my intro, the green hair. So um, I took it off so I could do a different hairstyle with it. But I'm going to be putting it back together. I also have this wig cap. This is mesh because it's really hot out here. And I just like the way my scalp could breathe even in this heat. So yes, I'm using this, of course. Um, needle and thread, scissors, and some clips. So you also need a mannequin head. Um, measure your head and then order the size you need. My head, this is, I don't know, what size this is? 22 but i think my head 22.5 so this is a little too uh small for me so um anyway mannequin head then you're gonna take the closure and i'm gonna put this in a ponytail but you place it on the front of the mannequin head so i'm gonna show y'all okay guys so i laid this down you gotta get it as tight as you can y'all can see here and then I just wrap this up out my way and I'm gonna go ahead and sew down the perimeter of the um, closure as well as I do sew through here through this elastic here so that when you put it on it's a natural elastic so you don't really have to add one on there and it's gonna be tight and lay nice okay I finished sewing it down. See, it's flat as I could get it. Oh, I'm struggling. All the way around the perimeter. The main goal is to keep it flat and not have this bulky. Okay, y'all. All right. It's thunder. All right, y'all. So I'm using this <laughs> as where I put where your ears would be. That's why I put these right here to show y'all how far I'm gonna go ear to ear. You know how far distance that is. I'm gonna double weft the back the back of it so that's just to fold it. And this I'm not gonna sew through the elastic. So do there, do the weft, pull through. When you first do it, can y'all see this? You put it through in between the string, right? And then continue to pull. And that's it. Now what helps me to keep it straight, I just pin it here. Pin it, whatever I'm sewing, not sewing so it just don't fall and way down the uh, hair. Okay, so. Yeah, I did not comb this hair out. <laughs> so it's just all over the place.
All right, y'all, so I sewed down the first row from here to here. I know I was saying to ear to ear, but I meant to say behind the ear. You sew it behind the ear so that you could go like this, whatever, and it could lay naturally, right? So I hope y'all can see this. And then now I am going to show you guys how to flip it. Okay. Actually, let me sew one more and then I'll flip it. So you just flip it over here and you lift it up a row up. So you see where this at? So I'll just do it here, just a little bit higher like this right then you just put it through here through the net and then through the, both of the wefts You could put it through the loop again so that makes it a little knot. That's it. And that's how you flip it. Oh, my hair all over the place, y'all. So now I'm just gonna do what I did earlier. Okay, y'all, so this is the second row in. I'm trying to go as slow and break it down as much as I can. So this is the gap. Let me show y'all the gap between the two um rows can you see it's not much of, it's not much of a gap that's a good healthy space because you don't want to be um putting too much space where it's just you know it's you split it and you can show see but then you don't want to put not enough and then you run out of hair so now this is, this is the nape of your hair i am going to fold it i'm just going to keep going back and forth until um the the bundle is gone okay y'all i wanted to show y'all when you <laughs> about to run out of string mid uh yeah my kids yeah when you about to run out of string when you're not even done with your um bundle yet so i probably got like one more loop de loop i could do in here so you know keep it tight i would usually go through the you know what, let me do it that way just to make sure it's secure. So this is what I do. I go through the weft like I do when I first started off, just to make sure it's secure, right? Through the net. I still wrap it around twice like I would if I went under and I pull it through, right? And then I cut the string from the needle separate it just like you would tie a shoe take it under and just tie a knot twice on there well i'll do three times on there and then cut off the excess string wait i have to make sure this is tight y'all i like my sewing tight because you never know just you got to be secure Cut off this excess string and bada bing bada boom. And to start back up, you just do the same thing you do. Put it through. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off because okay. Put it through both the wefts. I know it's mid um <laughs> bundle through the mid of the head, but that's alright. Put it through both the wefts, through the net, and Pull it through. Try to manage the, you know, the thread because it can get tricky and hard to manage. So, uh -oh. so split the thread and put it through.
Okay, I finished the first bundle here. Very neat. That kind of looked cricket. Did this do that look cricket to y'all? Anyway, this is still behind the ear area, which I should have went more over here, but it's gonna be fine. And then because I didn't go more over there, I overextended here. But it's all gonna work out. This looks really nice and full. Let me pull it back so y'all can see how it looked. This is bundle number one. And now I'm gonna take the second bundle and begin to go ear uh, from here to there. Okay, y'all, I did go ahead and sew that um, last bundle on because I felt like it was self-explanatory. Although, y'all know I had to wing it here, my spacing is still the same. You can see there, you know, here. It's still consistent, yeah. So... I have this much left. I still have green hair, so I'm gonna add a little peekaboo of this in there. Don't look at the dye, okay? Cause that dye job off the chain. But I'm gonna add some green. I think I like the green in there, so I'm gonna put it back in there. And then some other pieces that I have over here, and I'll show you guys how you close off uh, the bundles with the closure. Okay, so I want to stop. I put the green on and I put two tracks over it. So I wanted to let you know, in closing um, the bundles with the closure, I like to use pieces like this, cut them the width so that, you know, it continues to lay straight. Like, you see how that is? So these, I have a few of these pieces and I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, place them here, sew them across until it just fills up um, this area. And I just do this because it lays flatter here like that. Okay, I'm bad. My phone cut off on me before I got done sewing this down. So um, I sewed it as close to the closure I could get it. It's still on the mesh cap. I didn't sew it on the closure. I do not like to do that. But yes, you can see how neat this look. This is why I like to do it. Stagger it like this because it makes it flat and neat. So y'all, this video been long enough and my phone acting up. So I'm going to do a part two of me styling it and showing you guys how to basically put it on and make it look natural and neat, y'all. I might do a little fishtail braid on the side as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you for the next video.